Hey everyone, Askel here. And Mama, welcome to our podcast. And today we're welcoming, once again, General Phoenix to record with... Mm. <laughs> yep, I'm back, guys. Yeah. <laughs> and today we're going to be talking about the new Netflix original series, Resident Evil Infinite Darkness. Yes. Yes, I'm sounding happy yes. about this, yes. <laughs> So welcome, Phoenix! Hey, I'm back, and I'm definitely hyped to join this podcast. You. Yes. Oh. And like me, Phoenix is a form, well, a player and a watcher of all things Resident Evil. But before we start, be sure to like, subscribe, and click notification bell to get updates on future podcasts and want to pause videos. Yes. So first we'll tell you that Rascal, this is her introduction into the world of Resident Evil. She's never played a game or watched anything or read anything connected with Resident Evil. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, we're going to let you start us off today. Phoenix, what did you think of this four-part season one premiere? Hmm. What I like about it is that I K-dramas and K-comedies. Yeah. Where they don't give you everything at one time. You have to keep watching parts that gives you the whole story. Right. What do you think, Phoenix? What I think is that I think that's really good. I mean, I really like that they did a four-part of it, you know, four-part episode. I think this Resident Evil content deserves, you know, like a television show now since, you know, now that they're doing this series, the CGI slash animation series or anime is now a Netflix series and I'm glad they're doing it now since Resident Evil is like a game series kind of like a television series right and from the time it first came out which I did play the first game it has just given consistent excellent content um, story arcs the animation even when it first came out at the time it did premiere, it was top tier then, what was considered top tier. Right. So they just keep delivering excellent quality content for Resident Evil lovers and hopefully new lovers. Right. Rascal! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
So what else do you hope we get from this franchise now that we've gotten something like this on Netflix? You did mention a series which would be awesome. Are you wishing for other things to be released as well? Uh, yeah, I'm still hoping that, that they're definitely going to, you know, make a lot more, you know, Resident Evil content. Like, we're, we already know that, but Netflix is also working on their own live-action Resident Evil series. Yes, can't wait for that. Now, that's going to be pretty interesting to see, right? And the, as you did mention, I think the only drawback is going to be people who are not familiar with the franchise are going to think, oh, they're copying TWD, but it's the other way around. All right. So, do you think you'd be interested in seeing more uh, series or more of the, the network series that are available? Would you be interested yeah, in playing a game if the opportunity arose? What do you think, newbie? I think I'll watch more of the shows or the, or the movies. That are, whether it's live action or, or animated. So the games, I don't know because I don't. I don't think I ever really played games like that before. I guess if first I first person, yeah. Yeah, I guess if I did, I'll try maybe the first game to see what I think of it mm -hmm. because this is a whole different genre I'm not usually into. All I only want is CWD, like it, and that's really it. So I could probably try out the game, maybe the first one, to see what I think of it. But I would be interested in watching other movies and stuff with it. Yay! <laughs> yep, and you'll definitely love this universe as much as I do. I love it. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well, <Yeah>. but <laughs> it's of course I'm always saying I love Netflix, and this is one of the reasons I love Netflix because you're getting things that you're not going to get anywhere else. You would not see this anywhere else, and it's great that they've taken. A chance on continuing the franchise right and I can't wait to see what else uh, is coming including the live-action movie so we know yeah. Phoenix that you have some more uh, good news to share with us on Netflix so tell us what do we have to look forward to oh what we have next on Netflix you know like what's coming to it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. well so far I so far, I've also heard for newer and upcoming Netflix stuff. <laughs> right now, I heard that Pokemon is getting a new season, and that's called Pokemon Master Journey. And this one, this will definitely be a lot bigger and better, you know, just like with Journey. And they will definitely make Chloe a bigger and important character. Hmm. Okay. okay, yeah, because she isn't sort of having her own episodes. I guess they were warning people up from when she became a main character. Right. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. And I also heard the Jurassic World can't produce this season four is definitely happening, and it will possibly get a December release date for this season. Okay. Awesome. And we plan on uh, watching season three this month because we're behind, but we're going to yes. watch it all in one shot. Right. At least we'll have plenty of time now. <laughs> of course, Phoenix has finished them all. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and Stranger Things season four will definitely be getting more teasers soon. Yes. Oh, good. Wait. Yeah, it's been over a year. And it looks like they're returning to the format before. It's coming out not in July, thank goodness, because that yeah. doesn't make any sense. October is just the best time. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Any other good news from Netflix? Uh, I think that's about it. Well, that's awesome news. As you know, if you love Netflix like we do and you're watching, there's so many things coming out this month. Uh, not only new and original series, but they also have gotten the rights to uh, air a lot of movies and TV series that you may be interested in checking out. So, if you are a friend of Resident Evil like Phoenix and I, or if you're a newbie like Rascal, and you watched this premiere, let us know what you think in the comments below. If you haven't watched it, give it a try. We absolutely guarantee you're going to love it, especially if you're a TWD fan. This was TWD before TWD existed. Yes. Pretty much, yeah. Yes. And... Oh, and be sure to like, subscribe, click the notification bell to get updates on future podcasts and more pause videos. And lastly, if you are a Resident Evil fan and you've played the games, which is your favorite, and if you have any questions, uh, check out Wikipedia. They have a whole ton of information if you just want to find out what it's really about. Right. Yeah. So, thank you, Phoenix, for joining.
joining us again for this premiere podcast coming out within 24 hours of our seeing this airing. Yay! Yes! <laughs> yes. It was such an honor to join and we're also going to give you this as well. Thank all of our from Victorians. It's going to be Leon and welcome to Raccoon City of Resident Evil. Oh, oh yes. she's perfect for that. Yes. She is perfect for that. <laughs> so... So, thank you so much for watching. I'm Rascal Entertainment. And I'm Mom Entertainment. And I'm General Phoenix. Have a fantastic day. Peace.